Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Medveg Taiga, working to unlock all of the various points of interest uh, in an effort to explore the map as we do with every other reserve that we've been on so far. I originally was going to go do a zigzag pattern this way, but the missions seem to be taking us off in this direction, so we're going to go ahead and run back over here and follow along with what the uh, mission provider has to say for us. Our loadout for today is the uh, Malmer 7mm for our class 4 to 9 animals, the Ranger 243 for our class 2 to 3 animals, the 410 pistol for uh, the single class 1 animal that's on the map, and that does remind me that I do need to actually uh, bring my spreadsheet up so we have our quick reference up there, and then the Sunberg 454 pistol for self-defense against, you know, the, the various wolves and stuff that are going to be on the map that want to kill me. <laughs> so. Uh, that's what we're doing for today. Don't forget to uh, like the video if you have fun watching it. It helps out with the metrics. Subscribe to the channel so that when the next video comes out, you'll be able to watch it. And then uh, consider that join button down below. I do have channel memberships available. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> I do have channel memberships available for those of you who would like to take a more active role in supporting the channel. Ooh, another Eurasian Lynx. I'm gonna slow down here and uh, stock up on this guy. See if I can see if I can kind of catch up to him. Maybe take a shot and get our first gold Lynx. I did say in the last episode that. Uh, oh, okay. What's this? Might as well. Fortunately, that means my lynx. Yeah, that means my lynx is gonna go away. It's just a female bear too. Probably should have let her go, but it's kind of hard to just walk, let her, let the bear walk away like that. Maybe we'll get lucky and I'll be able to see the lynx before it goes off into the distance. Probably not though. But that's okay. We're going off in that general direction, anyways. With any luck. We'll be able to catch that. So uh, I'm just gonna. It was just a little female. I'm. There's, there's no chance of it being gold. Let's check out the uh, little. Well, I don't know. I just shot here, so there's, there's a very little chance that there's anything just kind of hanging out now. But we'll look anyways, just on the off chance that maybe there's something here. Well, there's something. Another gray wolf. Lots of wolves around here. All right, so that's our bear. We'll go grab her in a second. All right, yeah. So I'll grab the I'll grab the bear there, and then continue uh continue my journey off towards the mission waypoint, and we'll find out where that's gonna try to take us. All right, not sure if I'm gonna get a shot at her, but we're gonna try. Want to get her to want to get her to turn. Ah, too high. That's all right. It's just a female, anyway. He's going down. I think we might have got a lung, but... I was really hoping for something a little bit better than that. I keep forgetting that the hearts are a little bit lower, but let me go Let me go grab her, and then we'll head over here to the camp and start the little mission. Alright, I wouldn't normally bring you guys back for a female, since there's no score for it, but I want to see where I hit her. Oh, yeah, just above and to the left. I really need to start paying more attention to where those shoulders are. All right, well, lesson learned. Let's head back over here and track down this person. If you missed the last episode, uh, some guy came out here without the experience he needed and ended up having some issues, and now he's missing, so we got to go find him. I have to say that one of my favorite things that I've seen so far is when you check out these tracks Lincoln, it says homo Gunther. sapiens he must be out hunting follow those tracks and be careful he doesn't shoot you by mistake you're a dead shot he's a dumb shot okay <laughs> okay so i'm not sure how far these tracks are going to lead me unfortunately they are leading me leading us in well, the there wrong is direction hunting blind but where is gunter <laughs> So now we're gonna go back over here. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We'll follow it for now. Chase. There is another campsite to the west. Gunther may have abandoned the last camp when the storm hit. If he's not there, 
The only other possibility is that he is lost in the tiger. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, I mean, I, li I like it. I will like it if the mission here is taking us around the map in a way that helps us explore. But if we're just going to zigzag back and forth like this, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it does feel like this is a relatively small map. It's kind of hard to tell. By the way, has Columbus Nadel reached out to you? He's my American archaeologist friend, a major geek studying the history of Taiga peoples. Nadal is not, shall we say, rugged like American archaeologists in the movies, but you are. So, lend my friend Nadal a hand when you can. Help him chronicle the rich history of this place before time erases it. Nidal is generous. He will reward your effort. I see a big I see a big set of antlers over there on the on this moose behind the other one. Uh, this one's really close to me, so I can't really. I mean, I guess the other one's far enough away that the other ones are far enough away that I could take a shot. Outside of 300... Ooh, okay. Uh, no, I'm getting... Why can't I get this? Is that is that this guy? No, it's... Yeah, it's, 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 it's insisting on highlighting the smaller one. I want to see what the big one is. I think that those are, are far enough away that I can actually take a shot here and down this guy without spooking those. So let me wait for this one to sit up. Yeah, he's going to go down eventually. Oh, oh, don't spook the other ones, please. Don't spook the other ones, please. I don't know if he'll spook the other ones. Are they are they alert? No, they're all very calm. Okay. So, yeah, I just want to get close enough so I can hopefully pick out how big the other one is. Moose, we need a 194.09 for gold, but I already have plenty of gold moose. I'm, I'm on the hunt for diamonds at this point. Not sure if that rack is a diamond rack or not, but the only way to know is to actually go and look. If I could just get it to highlight the other guy. Here we go. 219. Nah, he's not even he's not even diamond potential. So, I mean, we'll we'll go ahead and try to take a shot, maybe, depending on if there's anything off in this direction. Alright. So yeah, let's uh let's close the distance here a little bit. And then we will take our shot. So we got a couple of brown bear over here, but unfortunately their score ranges do not pop up into the gold range. So that's unfortunate, but they are headed in my direction. So I'm probably going to take these guys out instead because I really have a, it's a bad angle over here on this moose. He's, oh, where'd they go? They're gone anyways. I got distracted by the bears. So I think what we'll do... I have a choice now. I gotta just take him out. He's attacking me. <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't a gold anyway, so... Not that big of a deal. Oh, that didn't go anything like I thought it was going to. Not much you could. I mean, unlike the black bears in the other in the uh, Leighton Lakes map, uh, the brown bears will attack you. So <laughs> you, you definitely you definitely want to uh, be cognizant of that. So let me let me look around, and try to find these this bear. Where is he? So the last spot was over this way. All right, so I'll track down this bear, and then we'll head over to uh, we'll head over to the mission over there. He actually wasn't very far at all. What do we got? Yeah, because I had to shoot him in the face, but that's all right. He was only a 19. We need a 23.8 to grab ourselves a gold brown bear. Seems like it doesn't seem like that moose over there was anywhere really in the diamond potential range, so. All in all, it wasn't really that big of a deal that we ended up losing out on that one. Yep, I got several moose that are all gold, and it's fine. So we're, I really, I really just want to find, uh, I really want to find a diamond. <laughs> That's really what we're trying to find right now for moose, at least. Oh, 
Oh, I bet you thought I forgot about our moose, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I just, I happened to come across the uh, blood trail over there. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, we shot a moose. All right, yeah, nice little silver. Pretty much got exactly what we thought we were going to get. So we'll take the money for that and then continue heading off towards the next camp. Got a wild boar here. Ended up taking that down with one shot. Also had, also have a Eurasian lynx over there, but it's a female, and the odds of her being gold are virtually zero. So I'm pretty much not going to waste my time on any of the female calls that I hear because I'm not really trying. I, money's not an issue for me. Le leveling up is. I'm, I'm already max level, so I'm really only looking for trophy animals at at this point. Lots of females around here. It's not particularly helpful. So, there's our camp right over there. Let's grab this boar real quick, run over to the camp. Oh. I mean, if she's going to present herself to me, why not? What was that? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> It seems like there was a bear running around, around running behind that I didn't know about. All right, nice gold boar, but I have plenty of wild boar. I just took around anyways I'm gonna run off in this direction if I find anything about this guy I'm not gonna make you guys watch me sift around this area trying to find his stuff so I'm gonna run and try to grab these waypoints and then we'll come back and see what we can find about Gunther all right so this first one turns out to be an informational point of interest so that's good Let's see what they have oh okay a bunch of reindeer stuff the Nenet shamans, or however you pronounce that, <laughs> build these sacred sites for a variety of purposes. Sometimes they praise the natural world, or Num, their greatest of gods. The shamans mediate between the gods, the ancestors, and the Nenets. They sing songs to connect, and to connect and communicate with spirits. They bless the sacred reindeer and sacred sleds. They bless the sacred the sacrifice of animals and the council, and they counsel the community on the spiritual matters. Wow, I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. Oh, I, I like getting nuggets of information like that. I think it's pretty cool when they include it. I was I was I was fairly disappointed with Emerald Coast that they didn't put any of that kind of stuff. Very few. Like they had some landmarks and stuff in there, but they didn't provide any. You know, I, I like that kind of stuff where you get more information about stuff like native tribes and the history of areas and things like that. It's, I don't know. I kind of like history. I like history, so it's a big thing. It's a big thing for me. What am I tracking here? Another moose. All right, so we'll run off over here. I'm pretty sure that this is just going to turn out to be a hunting stand, um, and since we're pretty much right there, there's no point in me cutting the video. So we'll grab that, and then we'll run over. We'll we'll run. Well, no. Well, yeah, we'll run back over here, see if we can figure out his location, and then depending on where they take us next, we'll. I mean, we're definitely going to run back over here to grab this, but I have to imagine that's a hunting stand. Yeah. All right. So let's run back over in this direction. I'll look around and see if I can find whatever evidence that they want. And then once we find that, uh, we'll make, make a decision as to what we're doing next after that. All right, so we got a reindeer right here. Oh, come on. He was, he was low on the, on the range anyway. 
I was gonna try. He he kept giving me warning calls. He was getting ready to run anyway. I don't know why. He was. I didn't have any wind problems, and I was hidden in the bush over here. And you know, I had been quiet, and I was using my collar. So I don't understand why he would have done. Why he would have been spooked out like that? But I didn't want him to run away. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we missed him. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Let's uh, continue. I was following the tracks of that. Uh, Links that we shot because it did and I think it did die so let me finish following that that's that was that was super disappointing that that worked out that way oh here's that links so shouldn't be anything special yeah it was it wasn't even a silver so it would have been a bronze and then it got downgraded because I didn't get a shot a, a vital shot but that's all right Anyways, so what am I looking for? Oh, I need to go back over this way. All right, so yeah, let me look around and see if I can find whatever. Um, it's not, oh, okay. Let me look. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Let me look around and see if I can find whatever it is that they want me to find for this mission, and then we can continue making decisions. Well, I always forget that they make these super obvious. There's a little a little thing right here. I'm waiting for her to talk to me. Okay. Elena, I am beginning to regret staying on this expedition. My hunter mate broke when I crashed my AT. Short. I knew it. I immediately feel bad for calling Gunther a Durak, <laughs> even though he made some terribly foolish mistakes. Now he's sick and he's out there all alone, and who knows what he's getting up to. We need to find him. I knew as soon as I started reading, it was, she was going to pop in and interrupt me. Then the storm came and came and came. I, I know we're. Like I knew it. They need to wait. They need to redo Hunter these so sick, that starving. these don't and pop up until shot. after you're done reading. What if you wounded an animal without killing it? Or left a trap on the wrong trail? Please find this reindeer and tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you know I'm stuck at hunting, but lo and behold, I found some dead musk deer by the river, frozen fresh. What a miracle! Thanks to the meat, I am alive. Now I must get healthy. This is terrible. This is I've got this terrible cough, a fever, and no medication. I can't wait here any longer. I'll take the musk deer meat I can and hike for a base camp. I don't know how far I'll make it on a taiga. If you find this note and I. Alright, well, you know what? I may end up uh, abandoning the missions, because if this is how it's going to be, I'm not wasting a bunch of time on it. Because I, I, don't, have, I don't have the patience for stuff like this, especially when it's like you have to do this one specific thing, and it requires you to expend a lot of specific time on it. So, yeah. Pretty sure the missions are about to go out the window. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't hit it, and I'm not spending a bunch of time trying to call it in. So, uh, I'll track it for a second, see if I can maybe catch up with it. But unfortunately, this wounded animal is not wounded enough that it's not going to be able to run away from me. And I'm, I'm not stalking it. It's just not happening. <laughs> that's just the end of that story. And I've lost its tracks anyways. So, that's fine. Uh, so, we'll just be done with the missions for now. It's distracting us from our main goal of running around and doing the uh, exploration here. So, we'll spend the rest of the time 
Um, I mean, we didn't really get anything done out of the actual stuff we were trying to do today. So, yeah, I think we're going to abandon the emissions for now. As much as I know it kind of sucks to do that, uh, I just, you know, the primary goal of this is not to do missions. It's to explore the map, and the, the mission has completely taken us off the rails here. So, next episode, we'll get back to actually go... Oh, oh, okay, well... start taking us around the map the, the main storyline mission will take us around the map i i really wish that the uh th that the de developers had made their story all of their like the way they did it in verhanga savannah is exactly the way that you should that they should be doing it Ooh. okay i just want to see if maybe I mean, they're all spooked right now, but can't hurt to do a call anyways on the off chance that maybe only one of them spooked and the other ones are still sort of okay. Yeah, this is the problem here is that the brush is so thick that the odds of me actually finding anything are virtually zero. I'll run through this next set of bush, next set of bushes here, but outside of that, I'm not really trying to expend a bunch of time going after animals in this thick areas here. Mostly, I'm looking for wide open, trying to catch things in wide open areas because I don't have the patience. See, this right here, this what I'm what I'm doing right here is way outside of what I have patience for. So. Something to spot. What am I? What did it say I could spot? Well, it said I could spot something. Seeing anything here? It feels like the reindeer move. Like their default moving speed is very quick. Well, I saw something pop up that said possibly spotting it, but all right. I don't know. Well, let's go find out what this is. Oh, it's a flag point of interest. Very nice. So, where do they want us to go next for the mission? So, back over there by the... Oh, <laughs> I ran right into it. Two, two River Village is obviously between two rivers, like Chekarov, Chekarovka. It has been abandoned since industrial fishing companies displace the fishermen. Then it's still fish here sometimes. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we need to, first and foremost, get rid of our marker there, and then head back towards the mission area so we can, we can uh, search for Gunther. <laughs> well, this isn't good. There are some moose over here, but none of them are particularly impressive. Like, 171 isn't even a gold. 
That one is probably a gold, but I'm not really wanting to go after it right now. I'm confused as to what I'm looking for here. I lost the tracks for the footprints. Am I supposed to keep going? Sites are marked on your hunter, mate. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, it's, it's actually it's kind of funny. It's taking it kind of down in the direction I was originally thinking I was going to go, anyways. Well, she's just going to stand there. No, part of me is. I'm tempted to switch over to my big game loadout. I mean, I don't really technically need it, but the animals would, would go down faster with the 338, these big ones I've been finding. And realistically, I'm not going to... Yeah, I think I might be switching to my big game loadout because the only small game that I have are... Well, I don't know, the Siberian Musk Deer. The only reason I don't go for my, small, my, my big game loadout is because I have the 243 pistol, and that's a single shot. But, I don't know, since I'm not really going after large groups of animals anyways, I'm mostly just trying to get the big, mostly just trying to get the big, uh, the big trophy animals. Yeah, I think, I think it might be a good idea. I'll try to remember next episode, or after I hop off here, I'll fast travel back to a lodge or something and switch out to my big game loadout, because I like to walk around when I'm shooting big animals like this with the, uh, 338 and the 7mm because it makes it so that I can, uh, oops, require local musk deer for our anthrax investigation. Must have intact lungs. Okay, so I guess, I guess they want us to shoot it somewhere where I, where we're not hitting the lungs, the lungs, but whatever. Um, is there a blood trail around here somewhere? So we got to find this guy. So let me find, let me look around, find this, uh, this male that I shot. And then we're probably going to go ahead and call it a day after that. Oh, he fell down right over here. Never mind. Is this our mail? Yep. So yeah, he did end up being a gold, but I, well, I mean, we are trying to fill up the lot, the, the trophy lodge there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to more viewers. The more people we have along for these hunts, the more fun it's going to be because you guys can discuss it down in the comments and let me know how you guys are feeling about it and all that kind of cool stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to uh, watch the video as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my videos, so be sure to click that join button down below so that uh, you can check out the list of potential benefits that will become available to you should you choose to support the channel directly. Again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys had lots of fun, and I'll see you for the next one.